Hey Milkies! Welcome back to another video. I just want to point out, I do not own any of these characters. All of this is made for entertainment purposes. This is all fan-made and unofficial from the original creator, Hiruchi Furodit. I do not and will not claim any of these characters as mine. No copyright is intended. Anyways enjoy. Hello fellow friends. I have a challenge for you all. No. Last time you got me in a wheelchair. Pathetic. That happens to me almost every week. And I'm still perfectly fucking fine right? Don't be so dramatic. Atsumu supporting his bestie. Oh Ikora? Yes. Sorry about what I did the other day. I wasn't feeling it. It's fine bestie. I forgive you. Smiley face. Let's get this over with. What's the challenge? Thingy that shows agreement three times. Alright alright. The challenge might take a day or so. Judging by how much your boyfriend loves you. So basically, wear something revealing on a date. Oh. It probably won't be that hard since Bakuto-san asks me to go on a date like 24-7. Must be nice. Also don't worry. You can ask your hubby to go on a date. Alright. Question. Yes. How revealing does the outfit have to be? As much as you want. As long as it shows up to the arms or legs you're good. Okay. Where's Shoyo? He would have been here by now. Actually yeah. That's weird. Don't worry guys I'm here. I was just cooking for my sister. But I'm here. And I know what we are doing. Chibi-chan. Shoyo. Hi Kenma. Alright so are you all in? Yeah. Thingy that shows agreement two times. I guess. You bet I am. Yeah. Yay sure. Thingy that shows agreement. I was already in. I was born ready. Sure whatever. He's dead inside anyways lol. Sugar. Okay but I'm going to sleep afterwards. We say in short a many times. But K. Okay. okay but you're paying my hospital bills. Deal. Alrighty then. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm fine. Now. Page Hina private messages. Hey Cads. Kajima is online. Yes darling. Can we go on a date today? Sure. Where do you want to go? Can we go to that new sushi and unagi restaurant? It's fine if you can't. I understand it's expensive. No no it's fine. I'll pay. Yay. I'll pick you up in 20 okay. Okay. In real life. Parentheses show what they are thinking. Um, what should I wear? Ikora said something revealing. He thought roaming around his closet. He then remembered the outfits he bought while shopping with Kenma and Yamaguchi. This should be revealing enough. He grabbed two of the outfits to see which one was more revealing. He tried both of them on, and decided the second one was more revealing. He wore it, and waited for his boyfriend to pick him up 19 minutes later. Kajima was knocking at his door. Coming. He got up and opened the door. Hey are you ready? He stopped, looking down at how his boyfriend was dressed up. Hi. You're not going out like that. Why not? You see, don't get me wrong, you look hot. But you are mine. And some bitch is going to look at you because you're so cute. And. What on earth did you think wearing that? I don't know to be honest. Whatever. Just go change. And I'll choose what you'll wear. Okay. Hey. Don't you think this is a little much? Kajima made Hinata wear one of his hoodies. Jeans all the way to the ankles. A scarf. And sneakers. No. Now. Nobody will look at you. You look real proud of yourself. I am. Okay. Now let's go. What about Natsu? It's fine my mom and Natsu went to a friend's birthday. Oh okay. Akashi was writing down a report for his class assignment. 
Then Bakuto bust opened the door. Agashi. Akashi flinched at the sudden noise. Bakuto-san please don't burst in out of nowhere. Sorry. I just wanted to ask you something. What is it? Can I take you out today? This might be the perfect time to do the challenge. Sure. Yay. I'll wait for you to get ready. Bakuto left the room. Akashi put his pencil down and got up. He walked to his closet and looked for something to wear. He chose something decent for revealing. Bakuto-san I'm dressed. Okay. Come out. He went downstairs and... Agashi. You look so cute. But I'm not letting you out like that. Why not? That ass is mine. Akashi blushes. He then turns his head in embarrassment. Bakuto-san don't say things like that. But it's true. I won't let any other man look at you. So do you want me to change? Yes please. But wear that for me tonight winky face. Bakuto-san. He flushed a bright red. It was almost the end of the day, so Atsumu thought it could be worth a shot to ask his lover out. Atsumu got off his phone and went to ask his lover, who was cleaning the kitchen. Hey Omi? Yes sweetheart? Sakusa paused on what he was doing and looked up at his boyfriend. Can we go get ice cream at the market? Sakusa thought for a moment before deciding. Hey. Sure. Are you sure you're okay with that? I know you don't like crowded places, and they sell a lot there. Now it's fine. I think we're far enough in our relationship for me to start a change. Or... Come on now let's get ready. He grabbed his boyfriend by his waist and left the room with him. I love you Omi Omi. I love you too. Sakusa ruffled Atsumu's hair. They both looked for something to wear. Sakusa was dressed up casual but it looked professional. Hey baby I'm finished. He turned around and saw Atsumu dressed like this. How do I look? Sexy. I. I would let you out like that but. It's too revealing and it shows your ass. He walked towards Atsumu touching his behind. Eek. Atsumu flinched. This right here, and everywhere else is mine. Sakusa got closer to Atsuma's neck breathing closely. He got close enough to lick his neck. NGH. Atsumu trembled. Do you mind if we go tomorrow? N no. Alright I'll give you a meal right now. Shit. You turned me on how sexy you look. That made Atsumu crazy. Sakusa suddenly bit his neck. Ah. Sakusa pushed Atsumu on the bed. Now let's begin. Sakusa flipped Atsumu over on his stomach, his back facing Sakusa. He had a big bulge. He started to slightly touch Atsuma's lower body. Are you okay with this? MMM. Why yeah. Okay. I'm going to press harder now. Okay. Sakusa pressed his bulge harder against Atsumu. AR. Atsumu gripped the sheets with pleasure. I didn't even put it in and you're already a moaning mess. You really are a little slut. Only for you. Sakusa zipped his pants down. He then pulled Atsumas as well. Don't worry I'm already loose. You better be ready cause I'm not going easy on you. That makes it better. Go as hard as you want. With pleasure smirking face. The rest is history. Hello again Milkies. This is part 1 and I'll be making the other parts in a week or so. I will be going back to school like inside the building. So I can't be on my phone that much. I tried to hurry up and make this as fast as possible. I hope you liked the small smut. But I hope you all enjoyed. Have a great day, night, or evening.